We turn our attention to the tropics and a tropical depression, Ada. It's set to begin moving toward Cuba before having an effect on South Florida. But the question remains how much of an effect? Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is here now with a new advisory. Craig. Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to be enough of an effect that we need to really start paying attention here. It's time to perk up and pay attention to what's going on weather-wise for later in the weekend because in hurricane season, you never want to be surprised. You never want to say, I didn't th think something was coming towards us. So uh, it's time to start paying attention because on Saturday, we may need to start making preparations. But first off, let's break down what I'm talking about here. It's Tropical Depression Ada. Of course, it made landfall as a Category 4 several days ago. Now, here's the new threat cone. It's off to the northeast and then crossing Cuba sometime Saturday night and Sunday. It's crossing basically just straight across it as opposed to going diagonally along it. So from this approach, it doesn't spend a whole lot of time over Cuba, forecast to be a strong tropical storm. Now, of course, we show the threat cone, the yellow area. That's what we're concerned about because that's the tropical storm conditions. It doesn't matter if you're in or out of the white area here, in or out of the cone. That only tracks where the center is expected to be. That's why we show the threat cone. Once again, this is Sunday morning. Let's go into Sunday evening now and tropical storm conditions spreading to the south. Florida based on this advisor, the latest advisor from the National Hurricane Center. And then on to Monday, the storm forecast moved to the west-northwest, but tropical storm conditions throughout South Florida and the Keys as well. And then Tuesday, it's slowing down in the eastern Gulf there. But you can see all of the southern part of the peninsula is under now uh, the, con the possibility for tropical storm conditions Sunday, especially Sunday night and maybe even into Monday. That's the way it looks this evening. Why the shift in the uh, threat cone a little bit to the north? Look at the models. They've come into much better agreement here in the South Florida. Of course, it could change a little bit, but it's uh, enough of a consistency there that we're going to need to watch. So passing showers through tomorrow, breezy showers on Saturday. That would be our prep day if needed. And Sunday, the weather deteriorates, windy squalls increase. More on that coming up.